I find robotics to be an exciting field uh, because it benefits from each new generation of computer. It's a, a constantly moving frontier. The automotive sector is nearly saturated with robots. Uh, they've, they've led the way, but it's time to move on to the next market. And those other markets will include uh, exciting things like transportation, medicine, uh, elder care, uh, service robots that, that will do um, patrolling, security, defense. Uh, so we, we can expect that our lives can be transformed by these future more competent robots. While it's not necessary that we would say, oh, I need my machine to have uh, a personality still, uh, that's the essence of what's missing in that, in that branch between humans and machines. And because of that missing element, uh, it's also incapable of having a shared cultural experience, of understanding in context what we mean. Uh, we need to give the machine the, the same essence of what we came from which is the essence of fundamental drives and emotions. And from that, we can hope to build a machine that, that may approach a, a level of consciousness such that when you say something, it has a shared experience. Sensation for the robot is essential to becoming skillful at its tasks. It has to be able to interpret its environment and respond accordingly. Uh, a pure mechanism that repeats emotion by rote will not be competent in our unstructured environments. Uh, you have to be able to adapt your, uh, your actions to the specific instance. And to do that, the robot has to understand its specific instance. It has to sense its environment. It has to know uh, what's around it, what, where it can go and where it cannot, uh, how to perform skills to be able to feel uh, if you are performing an operation like washing a window. Then you need to know uh, what I care about is how much pressure to put uh, between the squeegee and the glass, uh, not simply, well, I think about here is where the window is, uh, or you'll just wash air or broken glass. The robot as a humanoid uh, is a, certainly a strong current research theme, a very difficult one, and certainly for many applications a questionable direction. Uh, we, we don't have to make the robot look like a person to perform a task. Uh, so if it's a window washing robot, there's, there's no reason that it has to have two arms and two legs. In many situations, if you want the robot to take the place of a person, to be able to get into any vehicle and drive it, to be able to operate a forklift, uh, to be able to operate uh, human controls, uh, to take the place of uh, a space explorer, uh, you may need it to have the, the, the form of a human. But um, largely, it's, I think, the appeal of how they look.